burden after her mother's death. Raised in a strict Jewish family, Noemi expected to follow their tradition as she is set to marry Michael, who is studying with her father to be a rabbi. <laughs> As it was known in Jewish religion that only men can become a rabbi, Noemi felt that she can somehow learn more about the scriptures, so she asked her father if she could delay her wedding. Noemi attended the seminary where she met Michelle. They did not get along well the first time they met. <laughs> Even their understanding with the scriptures did not seem to make them feel at ease with each other. Michelle is a bit liberated as compared to Noemi who is more on following the traditional teachings of being a Jew. One night, Michelle went out to look for a store when Anouk befriended her. Anouk asked Michelle if she is just visiting and Michelle revealed that she is actually studying the Bible at the seminary. Was it on No, just to DC. The headmistress talks to Noemi about helping a woman who is terminally ill. She was asked to bring food and Michelle needs to go with her since the lady can only speak in French and Michelle can speak the language. As they went to see the lady, Michelle greets a man along the way and seems smitten by him. They arrived at the lady's house and to Michelle's surprise, it was Anouk. Noemi tells Michelle they only need to bring the food, but Michelle insists to help Anouk and put the food inside. <laughs> this was the start of a friendship between the three, although Noemi still feels uncomfortable with Anouk since she killed her lover in France and was in jail for years. Michelle got more information about Anouk on the internet and shared it with Noemi and their other roommates. <laughs> Michelle knew that Noemi is engaged and even asked her if she loves her fiancé and that a pretty and clever girl like Noemi should not give up easily on love. <laughs> They went to visit Anuk again and this time around Anuk reveals to them if they can somehow help her ask for forgiveness before she dies. La pensée de de mourir sans le pardon de Dieu me terrifie. Michelle asked Noemi if she can perform a Jewish tradition where one can be cleansed from their sin. But Noemi was hesitant since she knows that only a rabbi can perform it. But Michelle is somehow able to let Noemi perform the ritual. <laughs> The two spent more time together as they were trying to learn more about the ritual that they have to perform for Anuk. They went to see Anuk again and explained to her that what will happen during the ritual. Anuk asked them if they could buy her medication and when they were at the pharmacy, Michelle saw that guy again and he helped them get Anuk's medications. <laughs> After doing the first ritual, Anouk seems to feel better and thanks Noemi and Michelle. She even asked them if she could hug them to show how thankful she is. Michelle and Noemi spend more time at the library and somehow Michelle is feeling comfortable now with Noemi and even showing her that she cares for her. <laughs> They get to see the guy again from the pharmacy and introduce himself as Yankee. Noemi tells Michelle she is just making him crazy but Michelle tells her how come Noemi thinks that way when she is the one who doesn't want to see her fiancé. Okay? 
Anouk starts to share more of her life with Michelle and Noemi and she reveals that she did not kill her lover. It was something like she fought back and then she showed a few paintings to them. Avant que vous me purifiez, que vous m'obteniez le pardon, il faut que je vous montre les tableaux. Michael came to see Noemi and then they saw Michelle and Yankee at the restaurant. The two girls seemed to enjoy each other's company rather than spending time with their men. Michelle went with Noemi as she spent dinner with her family. That evening, the two seemed to feel tension as they were both lying in the same bed and they started touching each other. The next day, Michelle doesn't seem to know how to react about what happened between her and Noemi. She somehow wants to avoid talking about it, but Noemi insists that they should talk about what just happened. <laughs> Noemi feels upset with what Michelle is doing, so Noemi tries to avoid talking about what happened. As the two went to see Anuk again, they went to the hospital since Anuk was not really feeling well. Anuk insists that the, she wants to complete the ritual even when the moment comes that she has to leave. Michelle tells Noemi she can't go on feeling this way and Noemi tells her that it's not easy for her too. Michelle felt something for Noemi but she is scared because she knows it's forbidden. But Noemi tells Michelle there's nothing in the scripture that says it's forbidden. <laughs> מה זה אצלך זה עניין יומיומי? כמה פעמים זה כבר קרה לך? השתגעת? Unfortunately, Noemi and Michelle were caught helping Anuk doing the rituals where it is very strict to not to perform it if you are not a rabbi. They were expelled from the seminary and Michelle and Noemi won't see Anuk again and they were separated. But the two somehow found a way to see each other again and shared a passionate kiss. Noemi tells Michelle she is not getting married anymore and that she, Michelle can go with her. The two perform the final ritual for Anuk until her last breath. Unfortunately, this paved the way for Michelle and Noemi to stop attending the seminary. As Michelle is on her way to the airport, Yankee sees her and gives her a letter. Noemi is so excited to see Michelle again and prepares their house as this was their plan. Michelle came and hugged Noemi but somehow unhappy with what she is going to say. Michelle reveals that she is going to marry Yankee. <laughs> this made Noemi so heartbroken. Yankee went to see Noemi and personally wanted to invite her to their wedding. Yankee also revealed that he knows what happened between Noemi and Michelle and that Michelle loves Noemi more than him. <laughs> but since it is a very strict culture, Michelle needs to marry Yankee and he understands the love between the two women. Noemi can't help but cry watching Michelle as she marries Yankee. She thanks Noemi for coming and asks Noemi if she can forgive her. Noemi said no, but eventually smiled and that means Noemi is letting her go and that she loves her more than anything. Want more queer content? then please subscribe and hit the notification bell.